In this tutorial, we'll create two level variations using free asset pack linked in the description. We start with creating a simple squared sprite, which will serve us as a base for our tile map. Then we create a rectangular tile map. We'll open the tile palette window in order to add the squared sprite to our palette. We create a palette and choose folder for it. Now we add our squared sprite by dropping it into the palette. Using our white square, we draw our map. All places which the character will be able to collide with should be marked with it. It's basically like creating a silhouette of the level. Now we are ready to set up the collisions for the tile map. All the details are properly explained in the platform movement tutorial, so if you are not sure what is happening, please check it out. In order to import file from the asset pack, you simply drag it into the project window. The asset pack has been created for 64 by 64 grid size. That's why we need to adjust the pixels per unit setting. Also, because the file consists of multiple sprites, we need to change the sprite mode from single to multiple. We apply the changes and open the sprite editor, where we'll slice the image into multiple sprites using the slice button. Once again, we apply the changes and close the window. We create an empty object and name it Map. It will hold all the sprites, so our hierarchy is nice and clean. I dropped the first sprite into the scene editor and realized it shows behind our tile map. In order to fix that, we need to simply change the Order in Layers setting located in the Additional Settings section of the Tilemap Renderer. Now we simply use the ground sprites to cover all the white spaces. Remember that you can always scale and rotate them. This is the main advantage of this approach. Levels created this way look much more unique than ones created using simple tilesets. I create the empty object for all the ground sprites and put them in it. Then I create another one for grass. Now I simply cover all the tops with grass sprites. I create yet another empty object, this time for water. I add water sprites into the map. If at any point you realize something should be in the back or front, you can simply adjust its order in layer setting. For all other layers, like the ground background, or bushes, or trees, I simply repeat the process. I'm making sure everything is in the right empty object and that each sprite has the right order in layer. The only tricky part will be the trees in the background, but don't worry, I will explain everything in a second.
for the night background, I simply decided to change the color of the sprites to much darker color. I create two separate layers, one which is almost black and the other one on top of it, which is slightly brighter. Then I change the window to the game preview. This will allow me to see what is the color of the camera background and easily adjust it. I'm going with very dark, desaturated blue color. Then I create a simple moon using 2D sprite in the shape of a circle. And we are done with the night variant of the level. Of course you can try to push it much further using 2D lights, particle effects and post-processing. For the day variant, it will be much easier to work when we see the actual background color. I simply create another squirt sprite and give it the right color. Now I'm making very dark, almost black background and then slightly lighter one on top of it. The black background covers the gaps between elements of front part of the background. I'm duplicating the front layer to experiment a little bit with different opacity and different colors. This part is probably the hardest one, as there is no one-fits-all solution. You just have to experiment and see which combination works for you. And we are done. Please share your creations with me. I will be more than happy to have a look at them. And of course, like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Love you and bye bye.